Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Due to popular request, and when I say popular, I mean popular, like everyone was asking, I am finally creating a tutorial on how to corrupt your arrow count so you have 10,000. That's right, 10,000 arrows. How many more arrows do you need? You don't. You, that's pretty much the maximum you can have now. Uh, okay, so first, you'll want to set up your file. Obviously, you're going to want an arrow type you want to corrupt. I currently don't have any. I want to corrupt ancient arrows, so I'm going to go collect some ancient arrows. I'm going to do that with you guys. I'm setting up everything. This is a full in-depth tutorial. No cuts, no nothing. Just a full setup. Uh, you'll want your strongest or bow with the most durability in the last slot. That way, its durability gets transferred over to your arrows. So, first things first. What? <laughs> uh, well, you saw it here, and you saw it here, guys. You saw it here. Uh, first things first, arrows. I think I'm just going to use um, some ancient arrows I can collect from Hyrule Castle. So I'm going to do that. Now, a lot of people ask, can I do this on all my videos, actually? Can I do this on a progressed file with armor, with arrows already there, with a ton of key items? Yes. This method actually doesn't duplicate anything. It'll just be a bit of a pain because you need to generate some more slots. All that really matters is key items and arrow counts. Everything else doesn't. So I'm currently doing this on my corrupted weapons profile. If you look at my inventory, you can see literally everything here is corrupted. Uh, I don't have a lot of key items. So first we need arrows. So I'm just going to go on over to uh, Hyrule Castle. And we're going to collect some ancient arrows. You don't actually, like if you have the arrow slot, but if they have zero arrows in the slot, it doesn't matter. As long as you have the arrow slot unlocked. But as you saw in my pause inventory, in my pause the inventory like before, I don't even have the slot unlocked because I ate the arrows. So that way I could do WMC a lot easier. There's the second gatehouse. I think it's the second gatehouse that gives you ancient arrows, right? <laughs> Who, where, and why? There's supposed to be a malice eye here. Come on, notice me. <laughs> Or nine or, and it doesn't even work anymore. Second line, perfect line. There we go. Quick to beat that. It's not a flex, I swear. Uh, yeah, this was just the easiest way to get ancient arrows, so this is what I did. What up? Ancient arrows. Now, if you look at my inventory, I have ancient arrows. I don't want to collect any of that just because. All right, so now let's get out of here. All right, so now we have the arrows. We can actually start with the uh, setup. We just got to wait until this loads. And we should be outside Hyrule Castle. Perfect. If you got your ancient arrows from somewhere else, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to Hateno Village now, because for me, it's the easiest place to set up IST. Also, I like this because the shop has a lot of room, so even if you don't have shock arrows and multi-shot bows, arrowless offset is pretty easy to do because there's like a 0.3% chance of you blowing yourself up. Don't go re-watch my old videos because I did blow myself up. <laughs> All right, so we're here. Oh, if you watched my newest short, I explained that there's a little secret 
in the Maya Magana Shrine, I highly suggest you go check that one out. All right, so we're going into the uh, the shop, and now we need to start set. The bow of light is already in my last slot. I don't exactly remember how I got it here. I think it was just here from when I corrupted it, and then I forgot to sort. But if it's not, go put it on the mount in Link's house, or drop it. Basically, do anything to get it into the last slot. If you don't have the bow of light, any other bow will work. I recommend one with the most amount of durability possible. The bow of light has 100, so it gives us 10,000 arrows. Next, you want to see how many slots you need to generate. Oh, wait, no. We're getting one step. You also need the amount of weapon slots free that you need to corrupt your arrow count. So let's say that these five bows are arrows, right? Let's say arrows, fire arrows, ice arrows, shock arrows, bomb arrows, ancient arrows. If you wanted to corrupt ancient arrows, you would need to generate one slot for each of your key items, one slot for every single arrow count until you get to ancient arrows. So that would be, if I have two plus six types of arrows, that's eight slots. If you need to, if you want to, uh, just let me, let me show you. So I'm going to my house. I only have one arrow slot, so I only need to have one free weapon space. Do I have, I do have weapon mount, okay. So the point is, you want to have enough free weapon slots to cover your arrows. So if you have six arrows and you want to corrupt ancient arrows, you would need to have six free slots. If you have six arrows and you want to corrupt bomb arrows, you only need five free slots because that's how many weapons you'd have to go through. Then that's pretty much it. You just start generating slots. Wait, you got to create, create a save. Create an auto save with your bow equipped. So remember, I'm just going to give you a refresh. Last bow, most durable bow, needs to be equipped. You need to have the slot unlocked for your arrow. It doesn't have to have any in there. You need to have enough free weapon slots to cover that arrow. I only need one because I only have one arrow type. And of course you need to have enough materials to do IST. Next, you'll want to save the game. I actually don't want to save the game because I don't want arrows in my main... Actually, you know what? No, for the sake of this, I'll just eat the arrows again. Maybe not. I'm... Oh, I'm gonna have to All right. Save the game. And now we have a manual save with your most powerful bow or your most durable bow equipped at the end of the bows list. Whatever arrow you want to corrupt unlocked, but not required. Enough free weapon slots to cover that arrow. Enough materials to do IST and your key items, obviously. So now that I have the save, I'm gonna head to the shop and start creating slots. I don't know, you can break slots by paragliding. I'm here, right? So first, we need to count how many slots we need. One, two for the key items, three for my preferred arrow. Good to know. Next. Start creating offset slots. Like I said before, I don't actually have um, I don't have any multi-shot bows and shock arrows, so I'm just going to be creating them the arrowless way. Or if you're a Giga Chad, you can do vendorless offset. If you don't know what it is, shame on you for not watching my last my uh, last stream. So you can see that worked. Heroes holding my Octorok uh, tentacle, Hyrule Bass, and I think some Amber, so I'm just going to sell all of them. Double check that those are right items. Yes. Alright. Next. Head to Eventide Island. Or, if you don't have Eventide Island unlocked and you have the DLC, Trial of the Sword. Uh... I think for simplicity's sake, I'm going to head on over to Eventide, but if you've already completed Eventide, then Trial of the Sword will still work. 
Now, if you've completed even tide, there's like a 99% chance that you own the DLC. So just go to Trial of the Sword. The method does not change at all. It's just a little more complicated because there's rooms and an even tide you can just walk around. So I've warped to the Hateno Tower. I'm just going to double check to make sure I can actually reach Eventide from here. So where is it? This way. Oh yeah, no, I'm good. Alright, next I'm just going to uh, bow lift smuggle slide there. If you've ever watched my streams, you'll know that this is one of my favorite ways to travel because my wind bomb is complete garbage. There's even tide over there. Oh my god, that's the longest overworld load I've ever seen. You can use any method you want to get even tide. Like if you have the um, the shrine there on that island, you can just grab the boat and core off leaf and use the boat to just sail over to even tide. But I don't because this file is mostly unprogressed. So I'm just going to head on over to Eventide this way. Because if it's not glitched, you didn't do it right. My motto. I'm going to head on over this way. Land on this coast here. Once the creepy monk takes all your clothes, in this case, I'm not wearing any. Oh my god, you can't skip this cutscene. Oh my god. Now that the creepy monk took everything, collect enough weapons to cover the amount of free slots you had. In this case, I only need one because I only had one slot. Oh. <laughs> All right, you probably won't see it in the inventory, so just leave it at that. Um, I only need one weapon because I only had one arrow slot. But if you wanted to do ancient arrows and you had six slots, you would have to collect six weapons. After you collect the required amount of weapons, if you didn't, you could just pause and go do it, then come back. After you collect the required amount of weapons, pause your game, and load the manual save we made earlier. Whatever you do at this state, do not pause the game, open a quick menu, interact with your pouch, don't do anything that requires the inventory to be used. Just run around and generate an autosave. So you, that means you can't win bomb because that requires you using the quick menu. Don't press plus or minus. Try your best not to press A. I find it helps if you try not to press A. So I'm just gonna run around. Try not to interact with the campfire either because I'm pretty sure that'll do something. I think the required time is something like 45 seconds. You have to wait before the game will create an autosave. Don't die if you use a fairy that'll interact with your pouch. Walk around. Don't use any, any uh, durability on a weapon. You want everything at full. Gonna run 
around a bit. I think the required time you have to wait is uh, 45 seconds. So wait 45 seconds and then do anything that would normally let you create an autosave. So walking into town, uh, walking into town, uh, walking near a shrine, anything of that sort. Seems like walking in the town didn't work in this case. So I'm just gonna run up to the shrine and hopefully that'll work. All right, now that we've created an autosave, once you pause, you cannot unpause, otherwise the game will sync your data. So pause, scroll, and load the autosave we just created. Once you reload the save, you're safe to pause. Go and check your arrow count, and it should now be whatever the durability count of your uh, last bow was. If it didn't work, check for a few things. One, you gathered enough weapons on Eventide Island. Two, you had enough free weapon slots to, uh, to account for those weapons. Three, the bow you wanted to use was equipped. Four, if that didn't work, you probably didn't create enough offset slots, you didn't, um, shoot, uh, you didn't, you missed the step, just try again, and if it doesn't, if it works, then good job, if it doesn't work, well then, that's about it. Uh, if it does work, congratulations, you now have 10,000 of whatever arrow type you would like. There are some things to note with this. Obviously, equipping this shooting them will decrease your arrow count by one just as if everything uh, normal happened but if you were to collect one from a chest it would say your inventory is full and the count would go back down to 999 obviously because this glitch is so easy it took me what 10 minutes you can just re-corrupt them again if you wanted to or reload a previous save before opening the chest to get them back uh, and I want to say that's about it. You can repeat this for every single arrow type if you want. Just account for free weapon slots, uh, your equipped bow, and key items. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. Upon popular request, I could not have made this video without you guys requesting to make it. Okay, I'll just shoot it again. And again. I think this is a fast shooting bow, so I'm not actually shooting 10. Try with the force well as well. No, I'm shooting 10. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna be it. Actually, one more thing before I go. Look what happens if you shoot a wall with the corrupted bow of light in bullet time. That's weird, it didn't make the sound. Huh. Sometimes it makes like a really weird glitched version of the uh, of the sound. There it goes. You heard that, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so I want to say I could not have made this video without you guys requesting that I make it. I do really enjoy making these kinds of videos because it, it lets me show just how broken this game is. Oh yeah, that also happens. It'll duplicate whatever your last... Uh, Oh, it re-corrupted my fairy count, too! Look at that! Look at that, it does stuff I didn't even know it would do. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I couldn't have done this video without you guys. I seriously hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment what you want me to make next, because most of the time, I will do that. And I'll see you next time.